Hello everyone. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. So today we are having an interesting geometry problem in front of us. So as you can see, we have a right angled triangle which is right angled at point B, which means this is a right angle at point B. And we have a circle that is inscribed inside this particular right angle triangle. And this right angle triangle has sides A, B and C as you have named them. Now our goal is to find the radius of the circle that is inscribed. Okay, so I would like to show uh, the radius in the circle. So maybe I can uh, draw some points here. So first of all, before I uh, draw the radius, I would like to remind you that since the circle is inscribed inside the triangle, it is touching the sides of the triangle, which means the sides of the triangle are tangent to this circle. So because of that, I will draw the points of tangency here. So this is one point, point of contact B, point of contact E and point of contact F. Okay, so we have drawn these points of contact. Now, if I join this point O and D, this point O and D, so this is a radius of the circle, right? In the same way, if I join O and E, this also is a radius of the circle. So let me name the radius of the circle as R. Okay, so this is R, this is also R. Okay, now one thing that you have to remember that in uh, we have learned uh, uh, about the tangents, isn't it? That we have learned that tangents are always perpendicular to the radius, isn't it? So AB is a tangent here and OD is a radius, isn't it? Which means OD, this radius is perpendicular to AB. So this is a right angle here. Okay, that's an important problem. In the same way, this radius that is OE, it is also perpendicular to the side BC. Okay, tangents and radius are always perpendicular at the point of contact. Now, you observe this particular quadrilateral. Okay, that is ODBE. Okay, observe ODBE. In this ODBE, angle D is 90 degree, angle B is 90 degree, angle E is 90 degree, which means this remaining angle O also should be 90 degree. So we have a quadrilateral where all the angles are 90 degree and two sides are equal here. You can see OD is equal to R and OE also is equal to R. So two adjacent sides are equal and all the angles are 90 degree, which means this quadrilateral is a square, isn't it? Because only rectangle and square have all the angles equal to 90 degree. And uh, in rectangle, adjacent sides are not equal. Only opposite sides are equal. In a square, adjacent sides are equal. So since adjacent sides are equal in this case, this is a square. So I can write it here, that is ODBE is a square. Okay, it's a square, which means all sides are equal. So I can say that this side BD also is R and this side BE also is R. So we have to find out R now. As you can see here, this entire side uh, that is uh, AB, it is A, isn't it? Entire side AB is A. Which means I can say that here this remaining side, let me use a different color here to indicate this. Okay. So if you observe this side AD, this side that I'm highlighting that is AD, what is the length of that AD? So it should be what? It should be A minus R, isn't it? So this should be A minus R. Okay. Why? Because the total length AB is A subtracting the length BD that is R, so we get the length of AD as A minus R. In the same way, if you observe BC here, if you observe the length BC here, as you can see here, entire line uh, length BC is B. If you subtract BE from this, so now, if you want to get the length of CE over here, this length CE is nothing but the total length B minus the radius R. Okay, that is nothing but the length BER. Okay. Now, I have to find the radius. So where can I start now? How can I start this problem? I would like to start this problem with the hypotenuse, that is C. Okay, what is C in this case? As you can see from the diagram, C is the hypotenuse. So I can write C as AF plus FC, isn't it? AF plus FC. Now, if you observe the figure once again, what is length AF? Okay, observe the length AF. What is this length AF? As you might have learned in the previous classes, that if you draw two tangents to a circle from an external point, those tangents will be equal, isn't it? 
so this length ad and this length ac they are equal lengths because they are tangents drawn from the external point a so because of that i can say here that af right af is equal to ad isn't it in the same way in the same way if you observe here this length ec and this length fc right fc so ec and fc they are also equal because of the same reason tangents drawn from the external point so ec is equal to fc now we can use these two results so here we have got c right c is equal to here in the place of f af i can write ad isn't it i can write ad here plus in the place of fc i can write ec okay now from the figure what is ad so as we have found out ad is nothing but a minus r so i'll write c is equal to in the place of ad i will replace a minus r plus what is ec ec is nothing but this length that is b minus r you can see from the figure it's b minus r so i'll write b minus r okay now we can do some simplification over here so we have c is equal to i will write a plus b together minus r minus r will become minus 2 r isn't it so now we are almost close to get an expression for r so what we have to do we will bring uh, maybe we will bring this minus 2 r to the left side okay because we want to get rid of the negative sign so we have plus 2 r plus c is equal to a plus b now we will shift this c to the other side so that we have 2 r is equal to a plus b minus c now if you shift this 2 to the other side we get the radius of the circle is equal to a plus b minus c divided by 2 so that's a very neat expression for radius in terms of the side lengths right so what what is the input that we have in the question the side lengths of the triangle now we have obtained an expression for radius in terms of the side lengths so this will be a neat answer and uh, we can stop here and this is uh, one of the methods to find the radius we have another interesting method that is a little bit lengthier than this but that's also very nice and you know interesting method i would like to cover that method in a particular another particular video so until then keep watching my videos for such interesting problems take care see you in the next video